Yo, what's up guys? Uh, it's been a bit. And I'm gonna touch more on that later. Bear with me, okay? I know, I got a lot to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're back. And wow, it has been a while. Oh my God. During this time though, I have noticed this TikTok group who most people know nowadays is the Costco guys. Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, You've probably never seen a Costco. So get out of here. We don't want you. This is one of those videos for all the people out there that absolutely love Costco. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Look at that picture of me. <laughs> but anyways, the Costco guys are primarily like a positive, wholesome family TikTok account, primarily run by two characters known as AJ and Big Justice. It's a father and son. And then there's a random kid who goes by the Rizzler who just kind of like, I don't know, appeared. Uh, he, I know he's a TikToker as well, but he's like some eight year old little jit that isn't even their kid. So he's just all the time hanging out with his family. I don't know. I personally think they kidnapped him. That's my two cents, but eh. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I am tired of them. Why you may ask? I cannot go a single day of my life without sitting here scrolling through TikTok, and then all of a sudden in my feed, <laughs> not to bash them for their content, I'm just not a fan. I'm not their target audience. But like, look at this clip right here. The double jump chocolate cookie. They collabed with fucking Jinxie. Little side note, dude, why is <laughs> the Rizzler <laughs> mogging the camera? Like, he's sitting there like... I will say, though, I do love the Rizzler's merch. Like, it's like a Zen can, which for those of you who may be new to my community seeing this video, uh, I quit vaping a couple years ago, and I've been on Zens ever since. So that just appeals to me, and it says RYZ, dude. I need one of his shirts. That's all I'll give the Rizzler. <laughs> Dude, I hate how every time the dad is like, Double chomp chocolate cookie. Boom, 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 boom. Double chunk. It's nothing totally against the dad. He just, he does the same thing every time he says it. As if it's going to get funnier. Little heads up, it's not. Repetition doesn't make a thing funny. It makes it annoying. The Subway footlong cookie versus the double chunk chocolate cookie. What is this thing? What are you talking about? What is this thing? You just introduced it two seconds ago. So one thing I will note about their content is a lot of it seems like brand deals. A very large chunk of them are not explicitly stated as brand deals, but I feel like this is a Costco industry plant. Costco is trying to boost memberships by showing this family that's getting famous on TikTok. Who knows? If I was a company, that would be the last measure I would take to boost my business. But who am I to say I'm a college dropout who is struggling to pay rent? The double chunk chocolate cookie gets a big yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not finishing that video. I'm not sitting there for two minutes watching them all taste test a Subway cookie and a Costco cookie. It it is destroying my my brain. I can feel the goo oozing out right now. It's like you see it. But they also have a podcast called AJ and Big Justice Show, and I haven't really sifted through like a ton of its content. Um, to be honest, it's. I've only watched this one clip, which it's a big justice talking about how he's really happy that they got a play button. And to be 100% honest, man, congrats. I am jealous. I wish I could do that. Maybe one day with y'all's help, if y'all subscribe and watch the videos till the end. Thank you. I'd appreciate it a lot. So guys, right. this is just crazy to me. I've always wanted one of these as a kid. And now I am still a kid and I have one. It's crazy. When I was eight years old, I saw Preston and um, Mr. Beast got his millionth one when I was eight. And Preston hit a million and all these big creators were hitting a million. And I was like, one day I want to hit a hundred thousand and then a million and get the plaque. And I never knew three years from then I would be holding this in my hands on a stream and... 
like on Twitch and TikTok with all of you, our amazing fans. This just means the world to me and I love this so much. I think like the one thing I have like a little bit of an ick as the ladies say with these videos is that like, they feel like scripted family content, like the kind of brain rot shit where it's like, roll the Oreo down the table into hot sauce or ketchup or mustard or milk or dog shit. And then if you roll it into the cup, you then have to like pull it out and eat it as a punishment for getting not a good cup for an RNG roll, but majority of it's scripted anyways, for some reason. I it's just like there to garner your retention, which, you know, most content is not gonna lie. That's what I'm doing here. That's why this is a scripted video, well formatted. It's taken me a couple days to finish this and set it up. But the difference is like, they also have like ridiculously intensely mid reaction content such as this right here oh look at this oh, yeah, oh he's in you saw him get <laughs> yeah this looks like fun right yeah all right oh we got another one <laughs> no way he got he saw him get... <laughs> he's a let's do it yeah like that's not reaction content that is you and your son watching a video exchanging four words and then going about your day uh nothing was transformative about that nothing was really meaningful in any way shape or form uh to this content space as a whole with that which it's just a me thing it's an ick i'm sorry don't make lazy content that's again a me thing Congratulations, yes! you have all five correct. Also with this video right here, I can't tell if this is like an Alani brand deal, but something about it makes me really want an Alani right now. And I'm not claiming by any means that this is a brand deal. I, I do know that when it comes to brand deal laws and content, you typically have to express explicitly that it is an advertisement in both the title and in the video. Like in the form of media you are putting out there, you have to express in some way, shape or form, hi, this is an ad, which would be awesome if I could get a sponsorship because that would have been the best segue ever. Another crazy thing they have, and I know I'm going, th I'm going through the archives of everything relating to their content, but Another thing they have is this catchy little song about who they are and what they bring. Now, I'm going to give you three guesses to guess what they do, okay? Answer A, bring the double chunk chocolate cookie. B, the awesome sauce. Or C, they bring the good vibes. I'll give you five seconds to lock in your answers. It was none of those. <laughs> Fuck your illusion of choice. I'm sorry. They bring the boom. It's like their entire thing, if you haven't noticed from watching any of this video so far. Okay, so let's listen to a quick quick couple seconds of the song. We bring the boom! That's what we do! We bring the boom! Funny little thing I'd like to note is it is like the same exact beat and flow of the DK rap song from Donkey Kong 64. Oh. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. He's finally back. Now, I don't really want this video to seem like I'm ragging on a really happy family that's making content and having fun and found a new way to put a roof over their heads. Um, and, and having the childhood that I didn't really get, you know, that, that seems very, hey, I'm a piece of shit. And it's not really necessarily the Costco guys themselves I'm super tired of. Do I think Boomer Doom is a very cringe series that has gone on for way too long and is definitely on the verge of falling off any day now? Yeah, 100%. But I, I do personally believe this family is built off of just always stay positive, always stay happy. There's nothing really super negative behind the scenes. Um, if, if you look at the old, old, old first videos of this channel, it is AJ, the father, talking about 
his pillars of success. And and I'm assuming based off of the, the finance tips he gives, he used to work in a bank or something like that. It is full assumption. Not gonna make any intense claim there, but you know, he's talking about finance tips and credit scores and stuff like that. But he, at, at some point he does talk about his three or five pillars of success, three or five. Number one, zero. Again, zero negative thoughts. Number two, eliminate mistakes to maximize time a lot. Number three, take massive action. And number four, replace expectation with appreciation. Again, those are my four pillars of success. At some point, he does make a video talking about his pillars of success. And one of his most important ones is no negative thoughts ever. Do not let them foster in your mind as, as they will breed the opposite of success in whatever you're doing. And 100%, dude, he's spitting facts. The reason I haven't uploaded in two months is because I've been in a crippling depression filled with negative thoughts about myself, about my content, about my job, about life. AJ, that video is why this video is getting made. I appreciate it. What I do heavily disagree with in terms of their content is the merging of both family and business. I, I, I don't think family content is really necessarily a good avenue to go through, but you can kind of see this sort of business change in their content very early on where it's the dad doing food reviews and the first one he does with Big Justice skyrockets almost like a thousand percent views more than videos in the past and he starts doing more and more stuff with big justice and they're starting to do more and more of that scripted family content and they're starting to do the boomer doom together and then comes we're costco guys you know like it it, it very rapidly had this change of how do we get more views and whatnot versus Hey son, we're at Costco. Want to make a fun video with your dad? You know, it's like it's the new form of playing catch. <laughs> and nothing against a family chasing their bag. Uh, I, I do just personally feel that in history, the family merge has always been a way to just garner quick fame. It can lead to rough situations, rough Mental health. Uh, I mean, look at Nickelodeon kids. I, I feel like TikTok kids are about to be the new generation of that. And, and Disney kids as well. Like that, the past is showing us what our future could become, especially with, with fame being accessible in your fingertip. I, I mean, a, a, a very clear example from our past on YouTube is Daddy05, a terribly abusive piece of shit. You know, if, not even going to dive into that situation, but like, I'm not in any way trying to claim or accuse them of anything like this, but, but there is this clip that came out on Twitter that I do think is a little damning. Action. Three, two, one. Boom. No, no, we're here with Jay kind of funny. No, no, oh, okay. no, we're here with Jay kind of funny as first. Okay, okay. No, you gotta taste it. You gotta take it. First taste it. First taste the chicken bake. Oh. Then taste the double chunk chocolate cookie and then give your answer. Yeah, okay. But it it just peeves me a little bit, the, the the tone of voice, which pretty sure he's from like New Jersey or something, so he just has that harshness. He's abrasive, I think is the more appropriate word I'm looking for in how he'll talk. He's just very straightforward and he's like, hey, this, hey this, hey this. You know, uh, but he, Big Justice keeps kind of like messing up the lines and he's like, no, 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 no. Do it like this. Do it like this. For like the fifth time, I want it on the record that I don't want to accuse anything of this family. I do genuinely wish the best for them. And I honestly, I'm a little jealous. I'll, I'll say it right now. I'll put that on the record and I'll be like me being tired of them is because I'm a little angry that I couldn't be a cool Costco guy. You know, I'd like to go sift through the aisles and eat a chicken bake with my dad. I do, again, just want to state that I, I, I think family and business should be two completely different entities rather than two conjoined monsters constantly at each other's throats. You know, the business will negatively affect the family. 
and that can negatively affect the future and so on and so on and so on and they're just clashing it's like hydra's heads or whatever the dragon's name is uh but but more so in their terms this channel could go from five boom 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 ba -ba 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 booms to a big fat stinky doom now, before I end the video, I would just like to say, please don't send any hate their way. I, I, I do like a couple of their videos. It was really fun watching the Rizzler eat uh, Jinxie's homemade hot wings. Uh, that motherfucker cannot cook worth a damn. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to give my own personal take on the whole family content business as a concept. And the Costco guys kind of are the biggest example of that at the current point. You know, I, I, I don't think really any family, family content, maybe, maybe Roman Atwood back in the day was, was pretty up there. But again, with it being all on our fingertips, getting fed to us, like we're food for the slaughter, it's just going to get so much more attention, you know? I do think there needs to be some some form of interaction from like I don't know man the law and also just you know the ill nature of everything and how south it could go. If you guys are still here after that long yapathon, I'd like to thank you for picking this one over all the other videos on your screen. And sorry I was gone so long. Uh, I struggled pretty bad with mental health and it tends to like very much get in my way. This past few months has just definitely taken a very large toll on me in terms of like my job, uh, and my content, my social life. It's been pretty hard to just like stay consistently okay. It's every day I'm, I'm changing from, do I need to go to the hospital? To, yeah, man, today's a good day. And I, I kind of just, I don't know, I snowball pretty hard, and I really miss having that weekly deadline for videos. I, I miss the Tuesday night watch parties every Tuesday, whereas now it's like, hey, maybe in two months I'll see you guys. So I think I'm done shooting for the weekly uploads. I'm going to try to shoot for every two weeks, and at the absolute worst case, a video a month, something like that. I don't know, just as something to get me back in the rhythm of making content again. And then we'll probably bump the, the threshold of how much we're putting out as time goes on. But uh, yeah, that's all I've really got for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And till next time, I love ya. Bye bye. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba! Boom! <laughs>